for me, just as a spectator, as a media guy, as a fan as well, like to see his UFC run end at the apex with no one there, with no fanfare, with no video package, with no honoring, with no Hall of Fame, with no nothing, put yeah, me down. Yeah. It, it made me feel very sad. Yeah. I'm wondering, as someone who looked up to him, how you felt about yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I don't get why you're not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I mean, I, I agree, already, already talked to you about that. That's not important for me because... But it's important for everyone yeah, around but like, you. Yeah, but, but there's guys who retired years and years after you that got put in there. Yeah, and, you're, but, and you're more legendary than them. Absolutely, but... Look, for me, it's, it's more important to stay here, putting two big generations together. Mm. That's the more important. Because when I, people are talking about bad situation for me, say, I continue here. I continue to do my best, and I don't care if people put it or not, because it's something politic right. inside the game. You well, know? Why is that? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I feel like I know what it is. It's it's the the shark at the top who, if he doesn't like you, he'll do anything he can to try and like stop you. you I, I don't know. I don't know. And that's and that's why it, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, th this guy, th you know, this guy Dana and the UFC were sending me cease and desist letters this whole entire week to take down. YouTube videos where we had highlights uh, of UFC, you know, of Anderson and the UFC uh, in the video, which is all over the internet, right? But their lawyers send us a cease and desist. He's doing anything he can to try to mess us up on this fight week. And it's clear that, I don't know, that he has some sort of vendetta against me and maybe, maybe you as well. You know, it's not make sense because the people behind the scenes to control the whole thing. I think the people like the only the business don't respect everything I do for this sport, you know, and it's OK because I continue to do my best and I don't have nothing to prove for these people except one thing. I'm here and nobody can stop me except me. You know. I mean, one small example, I remember fight week, Wednesday of fight week, John Jones has to pull out of UFC 200, 200. They're about to sell the company. And then we find out on the Thursday before a Saturday fight, Anderson Silva's coming to town to fight Daniel Cormier on two days notice. You've done a lot. You deserve all of that respect. And I think it's the people around you, the fans, the people who watched you, who feel maybe stronger about this than you do, but uh, it's, it's, it's a wrong that needs to be righted.